to a special on the peg. Today, because I started a new job, I decided I'm going to get something that I've never collected before, something new that I've never reviewed. Yes, Master of the Verse, new attorney at Beastman. So let's uh, take it out of the package and let's see what I think about this. <laughs> My first He-Man toy ever. Now, to begin with, I just want to clarify, I did not grow up watching He-Man. Um, I was not a big fan of the animation. I know some people are going, but it's He-Man. I didn't grow up with it. You know, I, I remember the characters. I remember thinking, oh, I saw the He-Man toys. At the time, the original He-Man toys were not very poseable, so I didn't really get into them. But... Like I said, I started a new job, and to sort of celebrate the new job, I thought I would try something new. So I picked up a new toy, something I've never collected before, and I saw this guy here, Beastman. I figured, okay, there's potential here, and there's a lot of accessories. That's one thing I give this thing credit for. There's a pair, two pair, you know, two, you know, a spare pair of hands, the hat, which is really cool. You have a spare chest piece, which is cool. The whip, the club. But overall, I think what I really liked about it was the fact that it's nicely detailed. The, this actually feels like, I mean, I know it's faux fur, but it actually is, instead of being a hard plastic, which I've seen in some other toys, it's actually pretty, you know, it actually gives to the look. The fact that you can take off the head piece. I like that. You can see his face. You can take off the chest piece. I like the fact that a lot of these accessories are removable. Now, does this mean I'm going to go out and start buying He-Man toys? Probably not. No, no. This was something uh, just to try something new to see if I like a different type of toy. I want to see the articulation on it. It is actually very welly. Very welly. Ooh, it's been a long day. New job. And I, I can't talk anymore. But it's, it's very well articulated. Uh, it's, you know, it has potential to be something even greater. Uh, so I, I might maybe get some he-man fans really mad at me down the road i might customize this do something a bit different with it but overall you know, it's a nice way to celebrate a new job a new start a new toy yeah that's right and uh you know it's one of those things i said earlier if there's a toy you want me to review and i don't have it or something i don't normally carry let me know maybe i'll pick it up Someone suggested to me when I was at the store after work today, oh, you might want to look at that one, man. It's kind of cool looking. The guy actually kind of talked like that, but with a different type of accent. I don't want to do the accent, but, uh, and I was like, okay, I'll take a look at it. So he pointed to the He-Man toys. There was this one and a other uh, He-Man toy. They didn't have a lot. I I'm really disappointed in the Walmart near my place. There's like almost no toys. It's sad. Kind of like my social life. Sad. So sad. But, you know, I figured, okay, this one I'm going to pick up because, you know, it's it's kind of like I can see myself doing something with this one. But uh, that's it. Thank you for watching this very special. Like, I wasn't planning on doing this video, but, hey, you never know. This is what happens in life. You collect toys. You pick up something you didn't think you would ever buy. Okay, another reason why I bought it was it's half off. <laughs> there was a big sell. This guy was half off. And I'm like, okay, half off. You know, it's free off of that price. I'll try something different. And you know what? I'm not regretting it. Would I have paid the full price for this thing? If I was a He-Man guy, yeah, definitely. So if you're a He-Man person and you see this guy, definitely pick him up. And if you're in Ottawa, Go to the Walmart. He's pretty much half off right now. Uh, you know, like I, it's a good toy. Uh, once more, if there's something you want me to review, let me know. I am not going to say no to free toys. That's a hint. Just saying. <laughs> I wouldn't say no to a sponsor either because these are expensive. They, you know, after a while, this gets very expensive. This is why I have no social life. Well, one of the many reasons why I have no social life. So, uh, uh, you know, I'm going to give my usual hit that like and subscribe. Share this video. 
This way more people will see that I'm crazy. I mean, I do toy reviews. <laughs> yeah, losing my mind. But uh, no, I, I'm not sure where I'm going to put this guy, really, because he doesn't go with the DC toys, doesn't go with the Marvel toys. He doesn't go with, well, he might go with some of the other toys I have, but I just hope you had fun watching this. I hope you did. And uh, we'll see you on the next, on the pig. Yeah.